Greg Shoemaker, TristateFootball.com here at Campbell County with head coach Stephen Lickert. And Campbell's went eight and four last year. They've won 15 games in the last two years. And coach is in his third year, 19 and 17 at the helm here. And coach, I mean, when you started, you were over at Bob Miller Stadium. Now you've got this beautiful facility on campus. Uh, talk about the progression of this program since you got here. Well, you know, Bob Miller Stadium was a great place to play. It was a great environment. It was, but, but it was grass, and everything was grass. The thing that the new facility has done for us is given us, you know, people love turf for games, but for practice purposes, it's been so great. You know, during the off season, we can come out here and run and do stuff on the field, and you know, the snow doesn't bother it, the rain doesn't bother it, and we can just, we haven't missed a day of practice uh, other than a lightning day in in a, in a year and a half, and that's just huge. Where you know, when you're practicing on grass and playing on grass, you're losing days of practice when you can't go outside you're going inside the gym yeah and you know you talk about having days of practice one of the other things is you're winning now and the kids are coming out to play can you talk about the vibe within the program now that you guys have got a culture of winning yeah you know the thing the thing about it is when you're building a program is you want to set set a strong foundation and once you've set that foundation you can grow and what we've got back this year is 29 seniors and you know that's that's 10 uh, 13 more than we had last year and 13 more than we had two years previously and that just says a lot about our kids uh, we've got great hard-working kids that senior class has really come together and they decided we're going to be really good uh, we've got a great set of foundation guys underneath them in the junior and sophomore class and and uh, I'm just really excited to coach these guys they're fun to coach they're fun to be around and they work their butts off let's talk a little bit about the schedule I mean you played Highlands last year you're not afraid to go out and play teams and we were talking earlier you schedule East Central uh, out of Indiana game one this year year talk about what you're looking for in the non-conference schedule uh, as, as who you want to play to prepare yourself for playoffs now we want to win the first five games of the year but we really treat it like the, the preseason you know what we're really trying to do is make sure that that we are ready to play in the district we want to be the one seed we want to host home playoff games and uh you know picking up east central is huge for us they're always really really good uh they're a strong program in indiana they're a lot like us and uh, it's going to be a really fun game. And then playing, you know, Highlands and Connor and Cooper's off a state championship run a couple of years ago, and Newport Catholics off off a state championship every every uh, a year ago. Uh, so so those guys are going to help us get better. And and that's the goal. We have to get better. We have to improve every week. And we really want to be playing really well by week 10, 11, and 12. Sounds good. And let's talk a little bit about the offense. Uh, you've had two really big, tall quarterbacks last two years, strong guys, and uh, Wood and, and, and uh, uh, Durham. Uh, talk about what you got on the offensive side of the football coming back. How do you replace that kind of protect? productivity that you had in your skill players you know offensive offensively we lost one offensive lineman in logan schneider and that's a big loss but we returned four other guys um, we lost a lot of our skill kids uh but we return uh we return some guys that can play the two guys kind of battling out right now for the quarterback position are eli matthews and carson plessinger you know uh carson is a is a better thrower probably and, and he's like a money ball runner. He's going to get you 10, 15 yards. Eli can take it to the house at any point in time, throws it well enough to keep people honest. So that's going to be a good battle for us. Uh, we're really going to lean on that offensive line, though. Back at running back, we have uh, uh, Josh Carroll and Austin Myers is going to play some running back this year who's been playing defense for us the past few years. Um, and we're just really excited to get those guys out there. You know, the, the, one, the one point that we're really working on is our receiving core. We've got like seven junior receivers that are all going to get to play a lot. But uh, it's all going to start up front with Jordan Mason and Alex Kaufman and, and Josh Griffith and, and the rest of those guys. Those guys are going to anchor it, and we're going to go as far as they'll take us. We've seen defense really key. Several teams in the district's runs deep in the playoffs. Uh, when Rowell was good, when Boone was good, when Simon Kenton's been good, these have been teams that have won it with defense. How close is your defense to being a team that can take it through and win a regional title? You know, we've improved every year defensively. You know, the first year was a struggle offensively and defensively. Uh, the, the second year I was here, we, you know, Coach Goss does a great job with those guys. We had to outscore people. You know, the scores were 45 to 25. Last year, we didn't score a lot. You know, we, we, we averaged 20 some points a game, 20 points a game. So we were winning game, game 17, 14. If you're not good on defense, you can't do that. So um, we, we return a lot of guys on defense, a lot of guys that played a lot, whether or not they be starters or not, uh, it doesn't it is irrelevant, you know, because they got to play a lot. We rotate a lot of guys, but defensively, we should be the fastest defense that we've had. We're definitely the biggest and strongest. You know, we passed the look test. Our guys look like big, strong, physical guys, and they've really worked to turn their bodies into machines. I'm really excited to watch those guys play because they just fly around and hit people. 
One last question before I let you go. The fans here, talk about how receptive they've been to you and how great it's been for them to see this program finally win football games. You have to get here early, you know, <laughs> we, to, to get a seat. You know, the stadium's full every Friday night. We've got great fans. Um, we've got we, – they load it up. You know, they travel well. You know, we're going to East Central, and I'm sure we're going to fill up our side there as well. The fans here are just great. You know, the parents are so, and the community are so into it. You know, they feed our kids before games and, and do all kinds of things that just get people excited. And, and our kids are excited to play football, and the, and the families, I feel like, are really excited to be part of the football program. It's one big family, and when you've got one big family, a lot of people that care is the sky's the limit. There you go. Stephen Lickert, the head coach of the Campbell County Camels, they should be a front runner for the District 6 title in Class 6A in 2014.